hello hi what's up totally gonna act like my last video wasn't like six months ago i totally uploaded last week um so today is june it's july today is july today is july the second and comic con dublin is in like five weeks so i was like sure perfect time let me challenge myself to make Let's hope I don't fuck this up. I've promised myself. Either way, no matter how this turns out, I'm gonna post this. It'll be a learning experience for people who are trying to make this prop or something I could laugh at in a few years. Either way, I'm posting this, this is going on the internet, and I'm making this happen. So the character I'm cosplaying, hopefully, to a DCC this summer is Stalking Anarchy from Pantheon Stalking. So I'm hoping to make her sword, which is kind of ambitious, but we hope for the best. We hope for the best. I will not take full credit though. I am following a tutorial by Jacoz. There it is. I haven't opened my laptop. Um, I will leave a link to it in the description because it comes with um, templates and a video tutorial to help me along this. Because I have very little faith in myself. I am not artistically challenged ah, you better stop i was never good at art in school i suck at drawing i could not draw to save my life i cannot do arts and crafts to save my life so this is this is going well already so um one problem that i've already encountered with this template is that it's all on the a4 piece of paper and Obviously, I'm not gonna make a sword that's like 26, 27 centimeters. That's not gonna work. So I need to find a way to scale this up to be about like a meter. But I don't have any of the fancy stuff like Adobe or Adobe or I don't know, I don't food science, but like architecture or arts or visual design. I don't have it anyway. So we're gonna make this work with Word, Word document. It's okay, we're gonna make this work. We're gonna make this work. I got this, I got this. <laughs> I got this. Can you imagine my shock? I just tried to put the PDF in, into, in, into a Word document. And it did this bullshit for me. This absolute bullshit. Guys, I'm an idiot. Rams. The absolute legend, Jay Cos, he has a video detailing how you can download these things. I did not see said video until I was struggling to get this to work in Word. I feel really stupid right now. It was a mild headache. Adobe kept crashing on me. Well, I had to download some stuff to be big brain and boom i got it it turns out i was also incorrect about the proportions because when i put this in it just boom right proportions all of a sudden 105 centimeters perfect got the sheets so i just gotta stick them all together to form a huge template i have the three templates cut out stuck together and that's what the final template looks like so now I'm going to get my roll of EVA foam and I'm going to trace them all out and hope for the best. I didn't think I'd get this much work done in one day. So I'm kind of proud of myself. I'm impressed. I did a good job. So I have them all drawn out here beside me. Right there. But I googled it and Google says I should use like an X-Acto knife to cut these out. That sounds like a lot of effort, and I have a pair of scissors right beside me. So surely I could use them, right? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Famous last words. A quick Google search has taught me that scissors are not working. So we got exacto knife thing. Apparently I'm supposed to use a box cutter because it's like kind of thick. I don't have one. So this is gonna work. So this little guy is not working. This little guy 
is leaving little jagged marks, which I don't want. I don't want you. I want it to be like it started off well and then I don't know what I'm gonna do now. I might actually have to buy a box cutter. Out of curiosity, I just tried with a regular pair of scissors. I'm getting clean lines. Focus, please. I'm getting clean lines. The internet is wrong. I don't see what's wrong with the scissors. The only problem I could see is, oh no, my scissors will go blunt. A new pair of scissors is cheaper than a box cutter. I'm sticking with my scissors. So I've got the pieces, just the three pieces for the sword cut out. With scissors, may I add, scissors work perfectly fine. If you're recreating a cosplay prop, scissors are grand. Maybe I might have blunted my scissors a little, but it worked for me for what I had at home. Okay, so I'm recording this like three weeks after I recorded all those other clips. I still got the three light shapes that I cut out, but I was unable to find like a thin metal rod that'd be thin enough to fit in one of these layers. We are getting a bit resourceful. I have these like thin kebab skewer things and I'm hoping if I stick them together and then wrap them in a bit of kind of wire that they would stay together and hopefully that should give it enough stiffness so it's not like a floppy sword and at least somehow looks realistic. I've just taken like four of them and then held them together with a bit of wire. So I've made the little hole in each segment of the sword. Now it's the scary part. I'm sticking it together with contact cement or adhesive contact adhesive which is technically called but this is a scary bit because once I stick it I can't go back so I only have one shot at this so I didn't really speak for this bit but all I did was glue the three bits of foam together and this one with the cutout I just made sure to put in the middle and put the skewers in the middle and then after that, I just sandpapered around the edges. Sword piece, three layers, stuck together. Handle, three layers, stuck together. The bit that connects to sword and handle pieces, I just cut out one. I think I'll only use one. I don't see the point in getting three pieces, stick them together, might be too quick. Bad news though, the first thing has gone wrong with this. If you look closely on the sword, you can see very faintly there where I put the wooden dowel then too, which I'm more worried about. The sword is still a little bit flimsy, even though I put the wooden things in. I think it's because I left little gaps between little gaps like where I put each one so that's probably the bending point because with this one there was one there was no gaps in it so I'm honestly too lazy and too committed to start again at this point so we're rolling with it we make mistakes and we learn so now I'm on to heat seeing but like I said I'm doing this on a budget I don't have a heat gun so I found this one Tumblr post that was like, if you don't have a heat gun, no problem, I'm using iron. And I have a bit of parchment paper as well, so it doesn't stick to the iron. I don't know if the camera can catch this, but there is such a difference. The iron works. So you can see me here, I'm just covering the entire thing in wood glue. I did three layers on everything. The wood glue is just acting as my primer before I paint. You can see me just using a hair dryer to kind of speed up the drying process. Okay, so for the handle, you can kind of see I didn't want to go with the hearts that are on the template. Kind of because I wasn't confident I could cut the hearts out clearly that they would still look like hearts. And in more of the reference images I had, it looked more like she had diamonds on. So I was just like, let's go with the diamonds, they'll be easier. Or so I thought. 
I wanted it to be exact, even though it's just such a small part of the entire sword. If you look closely, you can see the diamonds at the top are like slightly bigger than the ones at the bottom, and I wanted that to be as accurate as possible. I pulled out algebra to do this shit. This is the first time I've ever used algebra in my life. Somehow, maths with your X's, sequences and series, all that shit, it was actually applicable in the situation. And I made it work. And I'm pretty happy with how it came out, actually. I'm sure anyone who's watching this to recreate this is probably more happier just freehand drawing it. I wasn't. I wanted it to be perfect. So I pulled out the ruler, I did the maths, and this was the result. Yes, I really did spend, I'd say, a solid hour and a half making four diamonds just because I do not trust myself to freehand stuff. What I'm gonna do now is I have this like, I don't even think this is EVA foam, it's just like regular craft foam. So I'm gonna trace out, no you don't, two copies of each of the diamonds just for each side. And then once again, wood glue and then paint it. Three layers of wood glue have been applied and I can definitely say wood glue works as a pretty good primer. This stuff very smooth now. The thing I'm most happy about with the wood glue is that it's no longer wobbly. It's solid! I, I was so worried when I did the wood thing that it would be like floppy. Oh, wood glue just saved the day for me or something. So thank you wood glue. One thing I was on and off about but I've decided now I'm gonna do is I am gonna paint the, the, the sword white beforehand. Just the bits where it's gonna be white because the girl's on a budget and I don't know if this will last for the entire sword and I ain't taking risks. So just the bits that are going to be white, I'm actually going to paint them with white paint. Even though I did use white foam, just from the whole process, you can see like some of the newspaper stuff or like the wood glue, it doesn't dry transparent. So you can see a bit of wood glue in some places. So I'm just here marking with a pen the bits that are blue, the bits that are white, and then I just put down masking tape to get clean lines and then painted the bits that were meant to be white and blue. So I've done the first layer of blue, but as you can see, it's kind of chunky. It's really disappointing because I spent a lot of money on this paint as well. It's totally a different color on camera than it is in real life. And even in real life, I don't like the color of it. I don't think it's as canonically close as I could have gotten. I just left this bit in because it's really satisfying peeling off the masking tape and getting the clean lines. It reminds me of like Simply Nail Logical when she used to do those peel porn bits with her nail polish. Does anyone remember that? So then finally with the blue paint, I'm going around and marking a border of one centimeter and painting it. Then back to the handle, literally all I'm doing is just gluing on those diamonds I made and painted earlier to the handle. And then that's the handle complete. Sword is fully dried. I did this off camera but I attached the handle and I put a little just rim of foam around there just to kind of hide the glue. I tried using contact cement but it didn't really work that well. So I ended up using hot glue, you can kind of see some of the strings coming off it there. This is a little bit rushed because I finished this sword on Friday and the con is tomorrow so I'm kind of trying to rush everything through. So here's a final glance at the sword in its entirety of completeness. Okay, reflection time on anything that I would do differently if I was to make this again, slash anything that 
could help you if you're trying to recreate this again. First off, I would not leave it until the last minute and have to do the con crunch TM the day before a con. That's my biggest advice because that's what left me rushing the paint. I was trying to force it to dry with a hairdryer. It was very messy and chaotic. Second thing I would do for the paint job, I would definitely use spray paint. I know from the finished photos from the con, it's not that obvious that you can see the brush strokes, but when you look up close, you can definitely see brush strokes. So if you have the time and the resources and the money, I would definitely recommend spray paint instead of acrylic paint. Acrylic paint can work. It's just that you will be able to see the brush strokes when you're really close. But from a distance for like photos, it's perfect gets the job done. The third thing, which might just be from the way I glued on the handle, was that it wasn't very sturdy, the bottom half, so I couldn't hold it upright properly like a sword for the entire con. So that got a bit annoying when trying to think of poses that I could do where I wasn't holding the sword upright just because it couldn't support itself. So I'm not gonna necessarily say that it's just not possible. I'm pretty sure I just made a mistake somewhere, probably from the method of choice of hot glue to glue it on. Instead of maybe trying contact cement or super glue, I did want to try super glue, I just had none. And like I said, it was the day before a con, all the stores were closed. I couldn't really do much about that. I had to work with what I had. But well, all in all, for my first attempt, I would say I did a pretty good job. But again, this all wouldn't have been possible if the amazing J Cause didn't leave this pattern available. I am so glad that made my job so much easier. Once again, link in the description to his video.